Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about five cars that are appreciating in value. These are cars that have continuously rising purchase costs. They are head turners, they're extremely sought after and they're extremely valuable. The most expensive models are trading for a lot more and today I'm going to show you cars you can still buy before it's too late. Starting with number five. We have the Honda Civic Jordan VTIS based on the Civic EK4. This version was introduced from 1999 to celebrate Honda's partnership with Jordan's Formula 1 team. It has a 1.6 litre dock double overhead cam VTEC engine producing 160 bhp at 7600 rpm and accelerating to 60 in under 8 seconds. To celebrate this occasion, the Jordan came in one limited colour which was sunlight yellow and only 500 examples of this special edition were created, each one engraved with Eddie Jordan's signature. Of the 500 made, only around 150 are said to still be on the road. These are limited in number, proper head turners and proper driver's cars and finding a good example are highly sought after amongst enthusiasts. To give you an example of today's market, a recent example sold for over £5,000 which had over 200,000 miles on it. Finding one with half that mileage doubles the price and you could be looking at circa £10,000. It all goes down to condition, rust and mileage. Proper interesting cars these are if you can get your hands on one. Next up we have the Honda Civic EP3 Type R. These have already started increasing in price. What's interesting I notice is the value on these fluctuate. It dips at times or slows and then increases but its trajectory is definitely going one way. And as time goes by and the less of them on the market that's when the true value of these will come to light. A lot of the EP3 Type R's now have either been thrashed, unmaintained or eaten by rust. There's also a big following in engine conversions using the K20 engine into other models like the EK or EG or even Mini. About 5 years ago you could have picked up a decent example for a few grand. Now you'll be lucky to even get your hands on one for that much. So what makes a Type R special? Dock, double overhead cam, lightweight, iconic design, high revving, naturally aspirated engine, handles, amazing and all round fun car. Anyone who hasn't driven a Type R you're really missing out. If you find a good example now definitely snap it up. You can't lose your money and if you hold on to it you'll see some return on it too. Next up we have the Toyota MR2 Mark 1. The reason I say the Mark 1 is because the Mark 2 has already shot up in price, especially the turbo models. It's funny how much the value of the Mark 1 and Mark 2 have increased over the Mark 3. The Mark 3 can be bought for under a grand with some models fetching a bit more. Mark 1 hasn't shot up in price just yet as the Mark 2 has which is which makes it a good investment asset. Not only does it have the iconic Japanese styling, it has pop-up headlights, it's also mid-engined and rear-wheel drive like a Ferrari. This little car is amazing, comes in a 1.6 16-valve engine producing 122 bhp and accelerating to 60 around 8 seconds. There's not many around but you do see them pop up now and again on eBay auctions. Every single one that comes up for sale has a lot of interest, typical supply and demand. As anything, once the supply runs low, the price creeps up. Number three, we have the Daddy, the BMW M5 E60. I know what you're all thinking. You're thinking high maintenance, deep pockets, guzzler. But remember, this video is about cars appreciating in value, not about saving money or cheap motoring. The M5 has reached the bottom of the depreciation curve. And when you're down, the only way is up. Well, for some. Regardless what people may think, the M5 is full of character, fast and proper driver's car. A wolf in sheep's clothing, with the only giveaway being a quad exhaust, subtle body kit vents around the car. Cheapest M5 at the time of recording this sits at £14,500 with over 100,000 miles on the clock. E60 M5s with half that mileage are fetching around £30,000 mark. However, now and again, these do come up on eBay and if you wait for the right one, you can pick these up for a fairly good price. When you do, enjoy it on the weekends, put it in storage and wait for these to rock it in price. Moving on to our final car now, we have the lovely Audi S4 2.7 by Turbo. Not many people know about these cars and not many people know of the potential. The Audi S4 in the same year as we know are reaching absolutely crazy money, well over 40 grand. The S4 hasn't reached anywhere near those heights although it has the same styling and engine. However, the price has started to increase and they are now more difficult to find than they were a few years ago. I had an Audi S4 2.7 by Turbo a few years ago in Ibis White which I absolutely loved and got so much attention. Sold it to a guy who travelled 300 miles to see and buy it off me without even driving the car. Now I would be dreaming to think I can find a similar one for what I paid for it 6 years ago. These are fetching around 8 to 10,000 pound mark. However similar to the M5 they do come up now and again and if your negotiation skills are half decent and you play your cards right you can pick these up for around 4 to 5,000 pound. That's it for today's video. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below and remember this video is not about saving money it's about cars 
which are on the incline, which are still affordable to many of us. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video. Peace out.